Hello, this is Angela Anderson. Thanks for joining me for this acrylic painting tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint some gladiolas. This is our flower of the month for, what month is it? August, <laughs> 2019. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll show you step-by-step step how to do it from start to finish. Got my husband Mark with me. Hey there, everybody. He's man in chat for our live show. So if you have questions while I'm painting this, you can ask them and I'll try to answer them. Let's get started. Alrighty, so here's our um, previous paintings, all of the previous um, flowers of the month all the way through. And so we're going to be adding the gladiolas to our group here. It's been a fun series so far. I hope you guys have been enjoying it too. I'm going to set these aside and we can zoom on in here. I'm using five inch canvases for these. These are the uh, Artist uh, Gallery Wrap series from Frederick's five by five and they've got a nice thick side uh, gallery wrap just means that they're stapled on the back and so the sides are clean and um, so you can just you don't even have to frame them you can just set them they stand upright really nicely I have no idea what I'm going to do with all of them once I'm done but I think they'll make a fun like little section on the wall probably I'll stick them up somewhere all right uh, let me go over our brushes really quick I've got Number six, Filbert for the background. And then I've got a three eighths inch and a quarter inch angle brush and a number one round for some of the detail work. Not, not a whole lot of different brushes for this. Um, but thank you to Princeton and Fredericks, our brush and canvas sponsors for providing our materials today. Let me go over our colors, hun. We've got Burnt Umber, Burnt Sienna, Quinacridone Burnt Orange, Yellow Oxide, Cadmium Yellow Medium, Thalo Green Yellow Shade, Thalo Blue Green Shade, Ultramarine Blue, Doxazine Purple, Burnt, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, Quinacridone Magenta, Cadmium Red Medium, Cadmium Red Light, Cadmium Orange, Unbleached Titanium, Titanium White, and Zinc White. I changed out the, the uh, arrangement of my colors and I was <laughs> kind of going on autopilot there. I usually had burnt umber after quinacridone or after the uh, doxazine purple there but not anymore all right so so you're confusing yourself i am i was confusing myself nice. i was just kind of going on autopilot in there and yeah i wasn't paying attention to what actually was down but i actually am liking having the quinacridone and the purple next to each other i used to have the quinacridone over here and the purple way down on the other end and it just makes it easier to mix these kind of um pinks and purples and blues uh, with them right next to each other. So, all right, I'm going to use just a piece of chalk here and draw out just a very, very um, rudimentary sketch of our vase. It's just kind of a triangular, triangular vase here. And then the gladiolas are taking up the top third of this. They're like really tall. I have no idea what that is on there. It's some sort of thing. I think I got paint on there when I was putting out my colors. Not smooth. Yeah. Okay. What'd you say? I said not schmutz. Not, I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay. There we go. So just kind of fill up that whole top area there with your um, just stems. I'm really only concerned with the main stems so that I leave room for all of the flowers to go in around them. They're just basically doing kind of this star shape here. And I'm going to start with the filbert. And I thought that I would do um, kind of a blue. This uh, this one had greenish colored background. So I thought I'd kind of play off some of the blues in this one for the background on this. I thought it would look good with the oranges in the uh, blue and orange being opposite on the color wheel. Um, so we'll see here. I'm going to uh, grab a little bit of ultramarine blue, a lot of white. And then a little bit of the burnt umber. And then I'll gray out that blue so that it's not so vivid. I can go a little bit more blue. Oh yeah, that's pretty. And I'm gonna pretty much go over the top of my sketch here, but I'm just gonna kinda use my brush and Sort of gently go around here and I'm just dabbing this on. I'm not really over blending the 
color too much so that I've got a little bit of the dark and the lighter color in here. And I'm just going to quickly paint this in. Hope you guys are doing well. Join your Saturday. Thanks for joining us today. Mm -hmm. We always appreciate you stopping by for our live shows or yes. the replay, whatever. <laughs> Wherever you are. If, you, if you've got stuff going on, we can understand. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, there's, there's not like a big message goes out every across the world that you're broadcasting <laughs> live? Stop the presses. The world doesn't stop? <laughs> right. <laughs> Jeez. It's amazing. I know. But we do appreciate you spending time with us today. We... Yes. And if you enjoy our show, if you're new to our channel, if you like what we're doing, you can subscribe and click that bell and it'll send you an email reminder every time we do our live shows. So if you're already a subscriber, you can still do that now. <laughs> <laughs> if you're like, I always forget, well, there you go on that bell they don't um the youtube's changed the way that they do their um their suggested videos now and so unless you kind of tell them um you know give thumbs ups to the videos that you like and leave comments and um uh you know get the do the reminder bell or whatever they chances are they won't suggest it to you and let you know a particular artist or whatever unless you've watched them in the past week, you know? And so then like anything that you've not watched currently, um, will kind of drop off the radar for you. So that's kind of a new thing that they've, it's not new, new, but you know, it's been going on for the last couple of years here. And, uh, so it makes it harder for the artists and the um, creators to connect with their subscribers because they don't suggest to their subscribers anymore. So anyhow, so if you wonder why you get weird videos, random videos from people you haven't subscribed to, that's because YouTube's algorithm is trying to figure out what you should be watching and not necessarily what you've told them already that you want to watch. But, you know, <laughs> I have opinions about it. <laughs> I'm going to do the sides Just really saying. quick here. What? Just saying. Just saying, you know, like it would be nice. Yeah, if they just kind of went with what you've already told them, but... Yeah. But hey, that's life. It is. It is. So we appreciate anybody who actually searches us out and finds us and ends up here on the show. And all of our unusual yeah, with this. suspects that are with us week after week. Exactly. I know. Y'all are the best. During the move, I was going through you know, all our stuff in the studio and my notes from like uh -huh. October 2016 and there's a lot of names lot of people. in that list that are still That's you know, awesome. watching each week so we really appreciate everybody absolutely yeah we're talking to you yes <laughs> you know who you are exactly <laughs> I know we were just talking about uh, I was going through my Patreon list for um, you know we have different levels of Patreon um, just who support our channel, patrons who support our channel on Patreon. And, um, so many of the names have just, you know, they've been with us since day one of when we started Patreon. It's just really amazing that you guys have supported us for so long. We so appreciate you. So I think we're going to start doing some shout outs of folks that have been patrons for a long time. We haven't quite figured out how to get that list together, but... Once we do, <laughs> it'll happen. All right, so I don't know. That may be a little bit kind of baby bluish. I'm not sure if I love that. We'll see. I'll get working on the. Is it kind of periwinkle-ish? Mm, yeah, yeah, it is periwinkle. It is. Ish. Ish. Mm -hmm. Periwinkle-ish. Maybe if I just went with a little bit darker. A little bit more brown with it. Just I wanted it to be blue. Just didn't want it to be too 
too. Actually, my first thought was to um, mix up some orange with the blue because, you know, being opposite on the color wheel, I thought it would gray it out, but it actually kind of creates some interesting colors. And um, I did it on my notebook just so that I'd have kind of a record of it um, before the show. So I did phthalo blue and ultramarine blue and with quinacridone burnt orange, cadmium red light and cadmium orange. And this is something that you can do at home just to kind of play with your colors and see what kind of colors they mix. Um, these, the quinacridone burnt, burnt orange especially is a color, it's kind of a new color to me. So I wasn't really familiar with how it would mix with these blues and it looks I mean, when you mix it with the ultramarine, it makes a purple. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> would have never, ever thought that it would make a purple, but it does. Um, makes this kind of a neutral, um, you know, this is kind of more the orange, and this side was more the blue. Um, and so that's what I did on, on here. I didn't really find a color that I particularly wanted to use um, for today, so I just decided to go ahead and go with my old standby with just the ultramarine blue and burnt umber because it... It makes a very good variety of blues and grays um, just by altering just a little bit of the, a little bit more brown makes this, you know, kind of more dirty gray blue color. And then a little bit more of the blue makes that kind of baby blue color that we had. I'm going to, I'm dirtying it up a little bit here. Just because it, it'll match the other colors better. Not that I didn't really like that color. It was just the other, all these other ones are, you know, grays and more muted. So I don't want one that's like really bright colors. It might just look weird. You don't have to make up excuses. You, you've already heard its feelings. <laughs> it already knows I didn't. It didn't like, like it. it. Yeah. yeah. No I matter how hard I didn't you try. for the team. That's right. <laughs> like, sorry, you didn't make the cut. Yeah. You tried out, but <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so that'll work there, I think. <laughs> You're so silly. Mm -hmm. I came in here um, earlier today, and my water was down like literally an inch. And I was like, what is going on? Is it just like not humid enough in the house? Like, I don't know why. And then I look, and there's just cat hair all over. And we still don't have a studio door. So the cats are just coming in here and drinking my paint water. <laughs> like it's there. Fortunately, it's clean because I always clean out my brushes and put in fresh water, but I'm sure it's not yeah, particularly it's the cats. healthy. Yeah, <laughs> it's the cats drinking it. It's yeah. not you, huh? No. Okay. No, All right. Don't worry about it. Just making sure. Okay, so let me do like this. I'm going to zoom in here since Mark's not... <laughs> here to help me with that he's over I'm here playing here. he's i know you're playing right here, all right here. go away <laughs> go away now all right so i'm using the burnt umber here and added a little bit of the unbleached titanium i'm going to use this for my vase it's probably a little bit brown but we'll lighten it up and if I can keep this blue wet that I used in my background, I can kind of mix that in around the edges of this too to soften up the edges. It kind of does this pear shape. So we're running a contest right now. We, we've picked our slogan winners for our slogan contest for the our, the six finalists so if you want to see those you can join our thankful art group on facebook we have a uh, different things going on there from time to time and then you can share your paintings from your from my tutorials if you've painted along with us we enjoy getting to see what you've been your version of our Tutorial paintings. I say are. Not that Mark painted any of them, but. Yeah, I, well, I painted once. Mm -hmm. The famous foot painting. The row houses. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. That happened. 
one of these times we should have you do it again. You've done a couple of things. Like you did yeah. when we did the palette knife one. You, you did I one did of a the poppy. flowers. Yeah. You did one of the poppies on yeah. the palette knife poppies. Well, I said that, you know, for my YouTube channel, I'm just going to paint your paintings. Yeah. <laughs> it really would be. I think you would... You would have people that would watch that, honey. I um, think I'm going to call sure it You, you Think would. You Stink. What? I'm going to call it You Think You Stink. <laughs> uh, I, um, the, the slogan contest for the t-shirts, the, if you missed what the um, thing was, oh, let me see if I can get it out really quick Here, without... Dumping everything on the ground. Come on. We, Mark made this. This was his version of my hammock painting. And um, he put his stick man in there. And he tends to do this from time to time. So we Don't forget the, the sweet shadow. Huh? Oh, yeah, and there is a shadow in there, too. There's the stick man shadow right there. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, we... Um, that was That was the... Slogans. So we got some really fun slogans for that. All right, I'm using this brush here. I added um, yellow oxide to the phthalo green, and then I added a little bit of that blue from the background too. And I'm going to go through here and just kind of do these. But I'm going to try to cover up. I should have just painted over this whole section because it's now it's I'm having to fill in these lines here. A little bit thicker than I meant to have to do yeah I am going to I'm gonna do that right now I'm just gonna paint over this whole section because I I don't want to have to paint in any particular shapes, shapes. Uh -uh. Go a little bit more here. Go a little conservative with it. So now that you've shown them, people are asking. Yeah. What were the different ones? No, 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 no. They oh. were they're asking what happened to uh, the star of the show. What? Who is the star of the show? I paint over this. Stickman. Oh, oh, why he went away? Um, yeah. I, well, I've been doing it a little bit different. We were doing, we were doing them when we did, um, the blow drying. Um, but I've really been trying to not have any blow drying if at all possible. And so it was just kind of like we, we hadn't, we didn't do them every time. And then, I don't know, I just, I was kind of. Time went on. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little over it, I guess. That was part of it. <laughs> I was just kind of over it. I probably, if, you know, if we had enough people that wanted it back, I guess we could do it again. But Ooh. it 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 it's was fun while it lasted. Not even until it wasn't fun for me anymore. So. <laughs> sure, <laughs> your channel is all about you. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. <laughs> but he was fun. He was fun. I just. Maybe for the 200K. Well, part of it was that it, um, you know, they do the little preview things on the videos now, you know, so if you click on a, a thumbnail, it'll, or <laughs> hover over a thumbnail, it'll kind of show what's going on. And it was always like, the, it was always Stickman. It was every time <laughs> they, and I don't know why, it was just like the time, the, the timing, they must like time it in like a certain, like 10 minutes in or something like that. And it was always hitting on when stick man, like there's so many of those previews that are stick man. And I'm like, I just, that's, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I was just like, no. All right. So that's it. That was, that was it. Right. There so, really wasn't any good reason. So just, my channel would be stick man. Okay. That's it. We'll do just be stick art. Stick man to the thing. Okay. So I'm going to like just overlap these little buds here on these little tiny thin Stocks. You see how that's working now? Okay, so this will be more. So is your is your green straight green or no? What it's were you mixing? it's thalo green and and yellow oxide. Okay. 
And then I added a little bit of the unbleached titanium over here. So I have a little bit of both. All right, let's do this one over here. So one more line. And if, you, if you're having trouble getting this brush to do these straight lines, uh, there could be a couple of different reasons. If your brush is, is older and it's um, kind of fuzzed out, oh, it's not focusing for me. Um, yeah, no, it's not on autofocus because I was having trouble with those Fredericks or the Princeton br brush videos going in and out of focus. So I did it static focus. But um, if you've got an older brush that doesn't form a good point for you or a good straight line, that that would be like the number one reason. Or it could be the way you're loading it. If you're loading it this way, you're kind of pushing those bristles apart. So if you want to load it flat like this and turn it, side to side and then you'll get a nice straight line right there to be able to do these little very thin little stalks here and you pay attention to where these are pointing you always want to kind of curve them back down so they're going into the vase so. there we go what are you laughing at now I always feel like you're laughing at my expense. There's no, 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 I don't no, know no, why no, no, that no, is, no, but not at all. <laughs> yeah, paranoid. The, the question of uh, how do you mix QBO? Ah, come up and I wrote it down. So QBO is burnt orange is cad red light plus burnt sienna plus a little bit of cornacrino magenta. Mostly burnt sienna. You can see they're right next to each other on the color thing, that palette there. They're very similar tones. Okay, I had mostly next to my notes here. <laughs> mostly. These are actually pretty fun to do. I've never painted gladiolos before. Oddly enough. I painted so many different flowers. It's kind of weird to find one that I haven't mm. painted yet. Well, we're glad you did. I uh, know, me too. The sun. Get it? What? Did you get it? Did I get it? We're glad that glad. you... Oh, God, no. It's too early for puns. <laughs> <laughs> it's never too early for it's puns. It's too early in never. the day for puns. Never. Maybe too early in the show. I don't know. One of those. All right. So grabbing that quinacridone, quinacridone burnt orange and quinacridone magenta, mixing those two together, making this kind of a burgundy color. Makes a really pretty burgundy. Kind of a reddish. Not very dark. So if we want to darken it up, we can add a little bit of purple to it. That changes the tone just a little bit too, but I think it's what we're looking for for here. There's this kind of purplish one, and the flowers are pretty much the same way as the um, as the stems. They're I grab a little bit of white here and just add it to the thing, but they're just kind of setting the brush down and kind of pulling out a little bit, just pressing it down a little bit so that I'm getting these opened flowers like that here let's use some of this darker color over here there's some of this in the red just gonna put a few dabs of it there and let's go ahead and grab that cadmium red medium if you don't have cadmium red medium you can use cadmium red light and quinacridone magenta to get a similar color I just went ahead and put out all the all the colors today already mixed, pre-mixed, so a lot of these colors you can fudge and kind of mix your own version of. These are really fun. Fudge is tasty, <laughs> especially on ice cream. Heat it up. <laughs> okay. Are you hungry? Did you have breakfast? Um, yes, 
I did. I'm just using the tip of the brush here to open up some of those flowers. Just don't overdo it. That's the main thing with these ones, I think. They've got... The, it's all about the outline of the shape. So if you get that right, you're gonna, your eye is going to perceive that they're the flower so you don't really have to fill it all in or do a whole lot with these to get it to work I'm using the cadmium orange now with just I still have that red on my brush so it's just adding some of this let's add it up here I kind of open up and it's sort of a star shape I'm just trying to But the ones that are not open yet are just kind of these trumpet shapes. Really pretty. Well, you know, like a cone shape. I feel like I can probably bring that red out a little bit more, but we'll see. I'm going to make a little bit of brighter red with the quinacridone in this cadmium red medium. Just add a few dabs of that in on that red to brighten it up. I don't know if I'm really loving this background. I feel like I got it a little bit muddy looking. We'll see. We can always mess with it. All right. Let me use the quinacridone magenta now. Straight. All on its own. Add a little bit of purple to it. Just to make it a little bit more of that fuchsia color. tapping in to create these petals. Grabbing some of the white. This one is the most most developed. It's got it's kind of our focal point flower. So we can pay attention to this one a little bit more, give it a little bit more of the details. The other ones are jealous of it. <laughs> Being silly. You're rubbing off on me, Ann. I was going to say, I'm not going to have a job much longer. Mm -hmm. You just need to work on your dad jokes. You'll be able to say it. <laughs> no. No. You're safe. <laughs> <laughs> white here and I'm going to make that peach color so I'm going to get some of this uh, quinacridone here and a little bit of the orange make that kind of a salmon-y pink color here and then And I'm setting my brush down kind of in different directions. You might practice on paper just to kind of get a feel for the different shapes that you can make with this brush, but just by changing the direction of your brush strokes, you can really get all kinds of different little um, shapes. That's really I, why I like using the um, 
angle brushes because because of the point here you can get like dots or you can get um, straight lines you can get all kinds of different shapes out of it so it makes it really nice for doing stuff like this flowers especially fun. They're cute. They're so cute. So adorable. All right, let's get a little bit of purple now. Make a little bit more of a purpley one for this one right here. Get a little bit more purple. Kind of ran out of room here, so I'm just sort of trying to fit them in. Okay, good enough, I think. And really, if you wanted to, you could, uh, and I considered not doing the orange because I haven't introduced orange in any of the other flowers yet, really. They're just yellows and um, pinks and blues. Um, but we're going to do marigolds in a couple months, so uh, we'll be introducing more orange that, in that one. So I figured we'll go ahead and use the orange. But you feel free to make these whatever colors that you like. So if you like all of them to be, you know, one particular color, I think it would be really pretty just to have them all the same color too. So don't feel like you have to do them exactly the way I'm doing them here. If you have different colors that you like, go for it. Nobody will know. Well, yeah, they will because you'll share them in your Facebook group. Oh, that's true. And, and we'll, we'll all love, we'll love them and like them. And <laughs> yep, exactly. It'll be like, oh, wow, those are pretty. I should have done that. <laughs> <laughs> there are times when I see them and I'm like, okay, it's it's kind of sad when yours is better than the teacher's, but that's okay. <laughs> No hard feelings. <laughs> Getting the cadmium orange or cadmium red light here and adding a little bit of that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Are you Are you saying you don't need me here? Is that I'm trying to figure out what the what the message is. <laughs> oh my gosh. This whole thing. This whole thing. Exactly. That's, all I, that's what I paint when I don't care what I'm painting. <laughs> what it looks like. All right. And a little bit of highlights here and there. I need to do a little bit darker center for these ones here. I'd like to give them a center. I guess that's all of them. I was looking for another one, but I guess mm -hmm. that's it. So I need to make these orange ones a little bit bigger. I'm noticing that they're not touching here. Let's make these, fill these out a little bit more. Right there. What are you smelling at me He's about? He's purple. Here. Here. <laughs> She's just smelling at me, everybody. I know. Well, you were looking at me, so I'm just looking at you back. <laughs> All right, just doing little centers in some of these. Using the tip of my brush here just to do little teeny tiny centers, some of them. 
I'm gonna bring this. Let's work on the vase some, and then we can finish off the finish off the um, flowers. Well, it's gone pretty fast today. Mm -hmm. All right, getting a little bit of the lighter color here. This is uh, zinc white with a little bit of the burnt, or the quinacridone, or, I'm sorry, unbleached titanium. I don't know where quinacridone came from. I'm in art brain right now. I can't use my words. There's no such thing I'm as quinacridone. far in the right side right now. What? There's no such thing as quinacridone unbleached <laughs> white titanium. <laughs> So don't go looking for it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Get a little bit of the burnt, uh, burnt sienna here, and the. I'm gonna make a shadow on our vase right there. Just a little bit of one. Yeah, those ended up really dark. They're supposed to be that bright fuchsia pink. So I'm gonna try to adjust that color and know how that happened. But when it dried, it dried really dark. Some more of this brown and a little bit of titanium. Around the sides here. Pretty good. It's not a it's kind of a stoneware, so it's not got a really shiny surface to get a super bright highlight on. It's a little bit more muted. There are like little cracks and things in it, but I'm not gonna go that that way. I'm not gonna try to paint those in. It'd be a lot. I think that's good enough. Let's put a little shadow underneath it. So we're gonna use our our background color and just dark darker version of it. How what is the deal with the hairs? It's not the cat hairs, it's my hairs. They want it, they want to be part of it. Okay. So just going in just a just above the vase, so just like kind of right up to the line and then just above it. And I've got it fairly dry on my brush here, and then I'm gonna grab some white and gray that out and just kind of use it around the edges and just sort of blend out that line so it's sort of sm just smudged like that. I feel like it could be a little bit more blue. And then what I'm gonna do is use this color on my face too. So right up on the vase, I'm gonna use the tip of the brush and just kind of draw it right up on that vase just a little bit. Getting my wet brush, this is just damp. I'm just pushing that paint around while it's wet and bring it up around the sides just a little bit. I'll kind of blur out those edges and make it a little bit more whatever. I don't know what I was trying to say there. Just going in with that lighter color, background color. Blending that out a little bit. A little bit far out with it. There we go. 
I usually do this when I do the background, so you can do it like earlier in this process if you don't want to have to paint around your base um, before I've done it. You know, I've just done the background and then I've done the shadow before I put the vase on top of it. It kind of works out well that way too. Okay, so let's try to get this one a little bit more of that fuchsia color. So I, I still have some of it mixed over here actually. I think I just need a bunch more white. A lot lighter version. Kind of more medium than that. There we go. Bring some of that yellow up. Maybe add a little bit of white. I don't have any white left. Alright, added just a little bit of white to it just to brighten up this yellow. And bring it up here, add some of it there, and then bring it down a little bit lower over the vase too. Grab some of that. Cadmium red medium with the cadmium red light. Darker orangey color, darker orange red. Use a little bit of that for the centers of these. There's a little bit of it on this yellow one. And then I'm gonna get that mixture of cadmium or yeah, cadmium red medium and quinacridone make that really bright cherry red. Use that over here. Just a few little spots and then use that darker version of it that's got a little bit of purple for some of the centers. Oh, there's some yellow back there too. I didn't see it. Okay, so there's another. There's some yellow behind this guy. So put that in there. And then if we want to, we can go in and make, I'm gonna make some teal here with the phthalo green and phthalo blue, make a turquoise color. I'm gonna just kind of add a little bit of that darker, darker color to some of these stems. Go back in and darken some of them up just a little bit. And I think we're pretty much, pretty much done. There's not a whole lot of detail with these, so I don't want to do too much. I actually do want to add a little bit of this lighter color to the centers of these, though we lost some of that when we put the that other color on top. There we go. It's not exactly the same color, but it's close enough, I think. Let's use some really light pink on this one. Add some highlights to this guy. And you can always now, if you get to this point and you're like, I really wish this one 
was a little higher, you know, we can come out here and just add another little stem out here. And then that way we can add a couple more flowers to it. This one had a little bit of the orange in it. We'll just make it a little bit bigger. And same thing with this red one. I feel like the red one could come out a little bit more. So I'm just going to give it a little bit more. Make it a little bit wider. quiet show today and nobody's asking any questions. Did everybody do we have like three people watching? Is that why? Is that... <laughs> yeah, it's just me and Mona. <laughs> <laughs> we, we didn't want to tell you. So. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> That's all right. I understand. It's a Saturday. And here in the uh, southern part of the United States, school starts on Monday, so... Yes, a lot of people getting ready for that. This is the first year we haven't actually gone to the Spencer's Open House. It was a little bit sad. He didn't want us to go. He was a senior this year, yeah. so he was just kind of like, it's okay. It's like, I'll, I'll go by myself. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Well, you don't have to go. Splatters. Are you sure? Yes. All right, so I just watered down some white here and adding the splatters to our little guy here. Fun. You can leave this part off if you hate it. I understand. So some they, people have opinions about it. They'd like to know how you doing. How am I doing? Yeah. With what? And just, just with just general. In general. Yeah. Good. Good. Um. I've had. The remodeling has been interesting. I'm I'm just trying to figure out the. Uh, I have very expensive taste. That's what I'm realizing. I already knew that, but it's just like I cannot find a tile that is not more than like ten dollars a square foot that I like for our kitchen and bathroom. So that's my main issue right now. Other than that, I'm great. <laughs> okay, so we're not done with the remodel because this wasn't what I pictured it to be. Definitely not. You know, no doors hung. Right, no doors. Tools Every, laid yeah. out in the living room. Right, yeah. Boxes of stuff everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Big dumpster in the driveway. Right, <laughs> yeah, we're not done. We got a few more months to go. Yeah. <laughs> or at least at least one more, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully not much more than that. But All right, there's our little... Oh, yes, thank you, honey. So our little gladiolas, we're going to show you here our little... Oh, we got a new... Being thankful, zooming out there, hun. Um, we got a bunch of stuff, a bunch of magnets. It's been a while since we um, showed these, so yay. All right, there we go. Perfect. Um, isn't this cute? I found this. I, I had to get it. It said thankful. Thankful Art is my website, so it's kind of appropriate. All right, so here's Mark's Tesla. <laughs> he was so excited. We don't know who to thank for this, so whoever you are, thank you. Hopefully you're watching today. Um, but uh, this was awesome. Mark um, mentioned how he wanted a Tesla, and so now he has one. Yes. So thank you thank to whoever you. that was. This is a beautiful card and bookmark from Sylvia Venice. She sent it to us. Isn't that beautiful? She hand-painted and blinged out. Love it. Nice tutorial. Yeah. <laughs> That's when you roll tutorials, right? Uh, no. The waterfall? Uh, no. Oh, I thought it was. Uh, and here's our little vase that came all the way from China. Isn't that awesome? From Leah. So thank you, Leah. I, I confiscated that. It's over on my side. Yeah. <laughs> Padre Island from Sherry Singleton. Love it. Indianapolis Motor Speedway from Martha Troyer. Lake Shen Shellen from Gwen Dick. And South Carolina Magnet from Anna Lassing. New Brunswick 
That's like that one came a long way. Debbie Lawson. Love you guys. She says on the back. And then a Georgia magnet. These are cool. From Susan Dover. So we got a lot of new magnets. Thank you guys so much for sending these to us. I will be sending out thank yous uh, with our little uh, stickman magnet. You get one of these and um, and some stickers. So Sylvia's watching actually right now. Is she? Oh, yeah. cool. Awesome. Well, these are awesome. And we're trying to figure out we don't have our magnets up yet because Mark's... Uh, his board's not facing me anymore, so we we're not. It's facing the wall, so well, we have to find a new place to put our magnets. So we just we have a bunch of. I'm, we're, I'm still trying to figure out my space over here. Yeah, he's I trying know to the figure best it out. way to do it. So so um, I yeah. So we'll they'll be up soon. Oh, but yeah. um, but thank you for sending these, and if you still want to send them, um, we've got um, the uh, address down in the description of the video, along with all the other social media links. The uh, link to our so thankful art. Um, website and facebook group and um all the paint materials and things like that the brush guys we are nearing 200,000 subscribers mm -hmm. so in the next couple of weeks we're going to start to do some giveaways so um be looking for those we'll be doing those soon and um oh i'm not facing my microphone you're looking Mark. at me and i know sorry <laughs> <laughs> and you can't hear me okay <laughs> so yeah we'll be doing that soon and uh yeah should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. It's, it's amazing. I can't believe we're almost to 200,000. It's I incredible. Know. I know. So thank you guys to uh, All the those support who on Patreon. Supporting us and for sharing our videos and telling your friends about it and all that great stuff. That's that's exactly why we were growing. So we can do it without you. So um, anyhow, let me show one last. Let's show our new um, addition to our... Flower of the Month Club here. Yeah, I like that color background. It turned out pretty, it turned out okay, I think. It fits. It's not too, okay. well, look at how cute they are. They're looking great. I'm look, I love it. Not in order. They're, I think it goes something like this. I think this was the first one. Second, third, like that. I think that was... January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. So there we go. I love it. There's The more we add, the better it gets. Like on their own, you know, they're not that exciting, but I think all together kind of really makes it fun. So hope you guys are trying these and enjoy it. And uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you like these. And let me know what your favorite flower is in the comments below. I might paint it. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I was always wanting to paint new flowers. So yeah. Yeah. That's uh, if I could paint just flowers all the time, I would, but I don't think anybody would. Yeah. So <laughs> Mark's laughing at me. Well, definitely not tank of the month club. That's for sure. <laughs> We'd have like zero subscribers. <laughs> I feel sorry for everyone who subscribed from that tank video, thinking that that was the kind of stuff that they were going to be seeing on our channel because that was a one time deal probably. <laughs> so yeah, sorry to disappoint, but <laughs> still leading in most of those thumbs down. So. Yeah, it is. Yep. The highest thumbs I'm, down. I'm lowering the bar, baby. I know. <laughs> lowering the bar. I love it. <laughs> I'm realizing that like I probably um, would have liked this flower, this rose one better if I had just taken that one out. It looks a little weird sticking out there. No, I don't know. Look, I don't know. Yeah, okay, never mind. That's just totally off the subject. All right. Okay, we're going to get off of here now. I'm getting tired. <laughs> it's only been an hour. All right, so we'll be back next weekend with another video. We're going to be doing the lighthouse. Um, we're not doing Tuesday nights um, right now, just during the summertime, but we'll... What? We're not back next weekend, right? Oh, oh yeah, we're not. We're not. Oh, you're right. So we'll be back to the 24th. Yeah, next weekend we're going to go see Jim Gaffigan. So, um, oh, weeks. that's right. Man, two weeks. That's a long time. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Well, we'll... Uh, I might, I might we, have to start up my channel early. I know. Somebody, we, <laughs> I'm going to watch. <laughs> we, got, we got a lot of videos to watch, though. You can, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can go back and watch one of our older ones, maybe. It's not as fun without the chat, though. I get it. I get it. So, but yeah, we'll, we'll be back in two weeks. Wow. Okay. The 24th. 
So we'll see you for the lighthouse video for them. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.